My friend Nate and I found this brand new collectible store called Studio 151. They mainly sell Pokemon cards, but they also have a lot of collectibles, and I saw that they had Pops. And so I'm hoping when we go today, I'll be able to find those brand new Pokemon ones. You know, these three here? Because it would seriously be amazing to find those. It's the only ones I need to complete the entire set. And so what are we waiting for? Let's get going! And just like that, everybody, we've made it to Studio 151. Let's go in! Okay, everybody, so we've made it inside, and I gotta say, this store is is amazing. Like, if you enjoy Pokemon, you've gotta come here. Like, I've only been walking through one spot. You can see the pops behind me. We've got so many boxes over here, and this is also, like, their vintage room, and then they've got the newer stuff over there on the other side. Like, I seriously take a look at this place. It is crazy. And now everybody, of course, I have to show you the Pokemon Pops that they have because there is a lot of them. Probably the most I've ever seen in one store. We've got Meowth, Alakazam, Caterpie, Vaporeon, some of my favorites. And also they do have some rare ones over here like the Flocked Charmander as well as the Majin Buu because they don't just have Pokemon ones. They also have a couple others as well. And I noticed this one, which is really cool. It's that Funimation's 2021 exclusive. And then also above that, we've got like Scar with Hyenas, Aladdin, Tamor Dragon Ball Z. And then way up at the top, I don't know if you guys can see them, but it is Saitama. Like seriously guys, just a lot of really crazy Funko Pops all in one spot. I can't forget to say hi to the Pikachu Squishmallow. Love to see him. Oh, now I know this isn't Funko Pops, but they do also have a lot of other figures and statues as well, like All Might. I'm seeing a bunch of them actually from My Hero. We've also got some Dragon Ball. We've got some more from One Punch Man. And then up here, I did also notice some more Funko stuff. We've got Great Ape Goku, as well as All Might and Deku Vinyl 2-Pack. If you guys didn't know, actually, a while ago, Funko used to create these ones. They would come in two packs only. And my mom, I think, has pretty much every single one of these guys. Actually, you know what, guys? I didn't even notice at first, but up at the top, they have the Magic the Gathering Legacy Collection Funko action figures. They used to make these, I want to say, in like 2015, 2016, sometime around then. Now, I found this section over here, guys. There's a lot of just like random cards, but then way up at the top here, check it out. One of my favorites, Pika Libre. That thing's amazing. Now, this is pretty crazy, guys. We were talking to the owner, and he actually let us come into the back room here, where it's kind of like a multimedia space. Well, that's actually what it is, and there's some crazy stuff back here. Like, you can play Mario Kart on the TV, as well as edit your video, like, two steps away. Hey! Hey Nate, what do you think of back here? This is crazy. This time uh, we came in for a Pokemon store and we're in this awesome gaming room and like there's literally everything. There's a guitar back there. I know, I saw that. That was crazy. There's PCs, switches, you also, name it. Also, my favorite, it. Funko Pops everywhere. Yeah, this is, just, <laughs> this is crazy. I think we hit the jackpot with this one. Now, that was going to be our last stop for the day, but then we noticed across the street was a Walmart, and of course they have Funko Pops and Pokemon cards, so we might as well check. Okay, so for Pokemon, it doesn't seem like they have any. Now, over here in the electronics section where they usually have Funko Pops, I found this as our first figure. It doesn't look great, but the good news is I already have this thing. It's just too bad because I'm pretty sure, yeah, every single one of these is numbered. Who's going to want this? And now, in terms of Funko Pops, it looks like actually way more than I see at my usual location. So let's see here. We've got like, ooh, some of the Funko Shop exclusives like Kramer Good Cop. And then a little bit lower, oh, okay, this one is really cool and I do wanna get this, but the problem is it's kind of expensive. Yeah, 70 bucks for the four of them when I have all of them separate. So I think I'm probably gonna pass on it for today, but if this is something you guys are looking for here in Canada, I have been getting them in. And then I guess over here to the left, they do have some of the mystery minis as well as these newer Five Nights at Freddy's plush that actually like flip inside out to have the withered version on the inside, some of the figures, and then these two up here, which are cool, but I do already have them. Now, hold on guys, we were about to leave, but then I noticed they have another section at the back here and it looks like there is some pretty interesting stuff because they've got like the Mandalorian down here which is normally exclusive to Target, the original Darth Vader, the Black Adam movie bundles, there was a bunch of Black Adam figures, the child and then ooh, I've never seen that here before. It's cool Nate, I'm gonna be honest, I do already have it in the collection. Usually you do. I do, I do, but I to see it here. It's also cool how they do the Bosch that's like kind of vintage and retro. Yeah, because it's for the 65th yeah. anniversary. They did all like the original rides and stuff like that. Mm. I like that. Like, oh, it's almost like like yellowed, like it's been out for yeah. 65 years. Exactly. And actually right next to that, they also have some of the deluxe concerts, which is really cool. So they've got ACDC, Run DMC, and then U2. And I think that might be it. 
it. Uh, yeah, it looks like it. And just like that, everybody, we are back. And now, I didn't pick up as much as Nate did, so if you guys want to check out his channel, I will have it linked in the description down below. He's also getting really close to 5,000 subscribers, so let's try to get him there. And now, let me show you guys which cards I ended up picking up, because there was four of them that I did still get. I picked up this one here for my brother. He's a big fan of Batman, and this one here is supposed to be like a Noivern in the style of Batman. He's been wanting this card for a while, and we haven't been able to find it anywhere, so I thought it was pretty sick that they had it. And now when it comes to the cards that I got, it was actually three for my Brilliant Star set, because if you guys didn't know, I am, a, well, 11 cards before today, now eight away from finishing the entire set. And so let me just show you guys here, it's way at the end. So yeah, there's like three of them on this page here, and then we've got like a couple more over here. It's not many. And so the first one that I got was the Golden Galarian Zapdos, as well as the Golden Galarian Articuno, and these these two look amazing. It's just too bad they didn't have the third bird. And then the last one that I picked up was Marnie. This was literally every single one of the Brilliant Stars cards that they had that I needed. And I guess, let's pop them in the binder. Hold up, everybody. I almost forgot my sleeves. Okay, this is a little better. Alrighty, so Marnie is number 171. So she goes right here. And now for this page, I only need two more. Oh, and also, I did want to let you guys know that Nate and I were thinking of doing an entire collection video for my Pokemon cards. I think sometime this weekend coming up. So like I mentioned earlier with the subscribing, you guys totally should because that one should be coming soon. And then for this next one here, we've got the Galarian Articuno. Now this is number 181. So he goes here. Ooh. So all three birds are going to be at the top of the page, which is seriously going to look amazing. And oh, I also wanted to let you guys know that I had two Amazon packages arrive today. So we're also going to be cracking those open. Let me just put this one in and then we'll get right to it. Okay. Yeah. So it's the two in a row and then I have the page complete. But come on, look at how amazing these guys are looking. So seriously, some fun Pokemon stuff going on. All right, so now let's jump into the Funko Pops. And these ones here are some pretty exciting figures because they actually go into a much larger set. And it seems like, okay, yeah, this should be the first one out of all of them. And here we go, everybody. Three, two, one. It is upside down. Anyways, not a big deal. It's the Amazon exclusive Hawkeye. Oh no, so this is actually number two in the set. So I guess this one here is gonna be number one. And yeah, this is looking really great so far. And I kind of want to take this one out of the box to see if they connect together yet. But now that I think about it, I'm pretty sure Hawkeye Hawkeye was on Captain America's team when the other one that we'll see in a second was on Iron Man, so it probably won't yet. But either way, a really cool figure to have, and I'm loving that they're doing this, especially because those bases are going to connect together at the end, and we'll have 12 of them, six and six on each side. It's going to look amazing. And I'm going to be honest, I was a little bit nervous that Funko was going to be releasing these like once every like three or four months, but it seems like it's a little bit quicker than that. And so here we go, everybody, the second figure in the set, and this one is, yeah, this is the first one in it. Take a look at it. It is Vision. And also not upside down this time. <laughs> and yeah, it looks like he is part of Team Iron Man because when you look on the side here, they actually switched it based on which team they are. So Hawkeye is, of course, the Captain America side and then Vision has that Iron Man suit in the middle. And now I guess since we pulled both of these out, I could show you guys the back side. And I believe I have purchased now whatever's available on Amazon. And I think after this it would have been Black Panther, then ooh, I think it goes all the way up to Scarlet Witch. So it would have been Black Black Widow, then Scarlet Witch, and I think this is as far as we've got so far, but if there's any more, please update me in the comments. And now since we've got them here, we might as well take them out of the box because I want to see what those bases are looking like and if they like actually connect together or if it's just kind of like, you know, that uh, shape and then the flat walls just kind of sit next to each other. Well, it looks like I was right about that shape thing because I'm not seeing anything to connect them together. Let me check on this one. Okay, so it literally looks like they're just going to be like this, like kind of close to each other with the bases and I guess it still looks cool. It's just too bad they don't have like a whole locking system, you know? But I guess then if they keep it this way, and if you don't really care about how the movie went, you totally could just put the characters in whatever build a scene you want. I guess that is kind of fun. Or if you want to do it across in like one big scene, oh, that could look amazing. And well, anyways, guys, there you go. That is everything for today. And please let me know in the comment section below if you guys would like to see us go back to Studio 151 because there was a lot of really great cards as well as some cool Funko Pops. And then also the Walmart across the street is perfect because I can see if they have even more figures over there. But anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy this video and I'll see you tomorrow.